Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on electrostatics. This is video number 16, and I'm going to discuss the electric field of a parallel, a parallel plate capacitor. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstorials.com, and also, if you'd like to find out news or updates on my posts, you can follow me on Twitter at AdamBT503. So the three videos which are previous to this and are relevant. Video 13, I discuss Gauss's law and symmetry. Video 14, I discuss the electric field of an infinite plane. And in video 15, I discuss the electric field of a wire. I'll be using the video, excuse me, the result of the video uh, 14 in this particular video. So let's think about it. First of all, for the electric field of a an infinite plane, it's simply one half sigma over epsilon zero in the n hat direction. That's what I saw in video number 14. So if we draw a parallel plate capacitor, we have the following. There's plate one. There's plate two, and let's say I put the same charge density on each, or the uh, area charge density on each. So we have minus sigma here, we have plus sigma here. Okay, and let's say they have the same area. So I'm going to call this region, this region A, this region B, and this region C. Now, what do we know? We know that for positive charges, the electric field is beginning on positive charges. So this is plus Q. But on a minus Q, the electric field terminates on the negative charge. So but we know that for an infinite plane, we'll say these, if they're large enough, at least in the centers, let's say if we just look inside here, okay, that's a small region of it, just look in the middle of it, we can say, approximate that the electric field is half sigma over epsilon zero n hat. Okay, so what direction is uh, the electric field going to be? Well, that means, we'll say, we're going to have the electric field going this way because it's going away from the, uh, it's going away from the, uh, the positive charge all right, and it's going this way it's away from the positive charge there, that's E plus now over here, we have, it, it's continuing on so the electric field is, is it, it's still in that direction okay, that's E plus again but the electric field on the negative charge is going to be towards it. So we're going to have E minus. We're also going to have E minus here. Sorry, that's a minus. And also, of course, we're going to have an E minus here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So if you just look at it in, uh, just look at it in the following way, there is that's the electric field of one of the plates. Uh, that's the electric field of the negative plate. But the electric field continues on, so it also affects the other plate. So in region A, we see that we have that they're going to cancel because their magnitude is the same. Uh, in region B, they're going to add because they're in the same direction, and region C, they're going to they're going to cancel. So in region B, what we're going to actually have is E is equal to twice half sigma over epsilon zero. Okay, or it's going to be sigma over epsilon zero. So that tells us that the electric field, due to a parallel plate capacitor, is simply sigma over epsilon zero, and it points, in this case, to the right between the two plates, and elsewhere is zero. So the right is pointing from positive charge to negative charge. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also click on universityphysicstorias.com.